Sister Thomas Moore. If you think you've still got the right to call yourself that. Been stealing from the poor little black babies, haven't you? It's down here in black and white. There really isn't anyone you can trust these days. If you consider stealing to be making sure that money raised by generous Christians actually goes direct to the mission it was intended, then I'm guilty as charged. But I rather think that helping the poor and starving of Africa is more important than lining the pockets of greedy administrators in London. Don't give me that. Embezzlement and theft. You can stand there looking all saintly with your rosary in that get-up. But you're worse than a common thief. Using God to cover up your crimes. I see you've made your mind up about me, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm prepared to spend six months serving the state's punishment if it is God's will. He knows righteousness. And he is the only judge I bow before. <laughs> Tell me, what do I have to do? What do I have to do, miss? You can get out of that thing for a start. For all I know, you've got a six months' supply of heroin under there. Is this all you've got? It's all I need. It's a charity blanket. I've been working on it for weeks now. It's to raise money for AIDS victims. <laughs> raise money for your offshore bank account, more like. Store it. Because who knows how many swingers could be made out of that lot. It's a security risk. Please. I have a duty, Miss Holloway. Hollenby! And the only duty you have is to get behind here and strip. Oi, you're the screw's new tea slave, aren't you? Right, well, I need you to put this in their office somewhere nice and obvious. Just do it. I do not believe it. They can't lock a bleeding nan up. Must be my birthday or something. I didn't know you was religious, Nat. Not. I was taught by one of those cows at school. It's like I'm about to get my own back. You make the bed up yourself. It's not very holy, is it? But then neither are you, by all accounts. You just have to make the best of it. I've spent most of my life in a room far smaller than this, Miss Hullivan. Hollenby. Far fewer luxuries. I shall be perfectly comfortable, thank you. Yes, well... You haven't exactly got God's children for neighbours, so don't get too excited. We're all God's children. It's lunch in half an hour, so you can judge for yourself if he's wasted his time on that lot out there. Oi. Nanny. Can I help you? <gasps> I just thought I'd introduce myself. And... May I say, your manners are impeccable. I'm top dog, and this is my... I feel sorry for you. You must be very lonely. Yeah? Well, I'm going to be visiting you on a regular basis from now on. <gasps> you don't know what suffering is, my dear. You don't hurt me in the slightest. Maybe I'm a little bit out of practice. <laughs> He's making a fool of himself, Jim, not you running around the wing like a virus when he knows damn fine it's your job and so do the rest of us I mean it's a pack of lies obviously but uh, anyone could have opened that hey come on we both had poison pen letters I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come you mustn't let us see it get here that's what she wants we should go straight to Neil this is a serious disciplinary matter don't be stupid He's dying to get one over on me. And Buxton can lie for Europe. No. You said it yourself. I'm the wing governor. I'll sort her out. I hope so. And you make sure she knows she's gone too bloody far. Don't you worry, love. If she thinks she can play you off against me, she's got another thing coming. Oi. 
yourself now. 